Hello. So yes, a massive blow to the SCFC women's team this week with the news that the Lassus captain, Keir Ramshaw, has had to retire from football at the young age of 29 due to an ankle injury. So I thought it kind of fitting to do a video about Keira's career at the club. I've also got some news from the Benz team to bring you at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned until the end um, to hear that update. So, Keira Ramshaw then. She was born in Sunderland in 1994. She started her career at the Sunderland Centre of Excellence, where she played as a striker. She was that good that when she turned 16 in 2010, the then manager Mick Mulhern called her up to the first team. And she, she was being speaking about that in some of the interviews, what she's done, and said that that feeling was absolutely amazing to be called up at such a young age um, to the SEFC women's first team. You know, it was an absolutely wonderful achievement. So, you know, all very great things um, from the outset. She made a debut when she came on as a sub against Everton in a 4 0 defeat. And actually, in the first minute of that, of that debut, she got booked for a foul against none other than our own Jill Scott. So, um, quite an achievement there to be booked within that first minute of making a debut. She then went on to make a full debut in September 2010 in the second game of the following season, which was away to Watford. Um, she went on to start 19 games that season, scoring four goals. And the Lassers were also crowned champions of the FA Women's Premier National Division team, National Division that year. So quite a first season, uh, debut season, if you like, you know, breakthrough into the first team for the team to then win the, the FA Women's Premier National League. They were crowned champions again in 2011 and 2012. Ramshaw that season played 22 games and scored 11 goals. You know, a great season, an average of one and two. The following season in 2012-2013, she played 28 games and scored 14 goals. So again, an average of a goal every two games for that, that two-season period. Absolutely fantastic effort. You know, brilliant. Uh, and the Latters also won the league in them two seasons as well. Now, in 2014, the league changed its name to the FA Women's Super League 2. In that in that debut season of that, that new tournament, um, Ramshaw again hit double figures, scoring 10 goals in 23 games. As the Lassers were promoted to the WSL 1, or the Women's Super League 1, also that season, you know, a certain Beth Mead finished joint top goal scorer with Kira, who we know has gone on to achieve amazing things in her career. Now, you know, before I move on, if you're enjoying the video, you know, and you're enjoying the content, this is the type of things I'm going to be doing moving forward. Um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button now and uh, to get notifications of more content as we go on. Now, back to the story. So the following two seasons saw Ramshaw move to a more midfield role. Not such a great... Um, prolific as she was, obviously playing as a striker, but she scored only one goal in each of the 2014 and 2015 seasons. Now in 2017-2018, she scored five goals in 30 games, but at the end of the season, disaster struck, because for non-footballing reasons, the Lassers were actually demoted to the FA Women's National League North, and this was due to marketing and commercial grounds where we had to apply for an application. The application was, was, um, was rejected, and we were demoted, you know, right back down to that them leagues again. It was at this point where the club had to lose the majority of the players. You know, we lost such players such as Lucy Bronze and Jordan Nobbs, as there was now no money involved. Majority of players left, and that would only left the club with four players, Kira being one of those. You know, she was sun and through and through, and the thought of leaving never entered her brain which just shows the character she is. You know, she just got, she actually got a job in a nursery to keep earning while she continued playing. You know, so that just shows you how committed she was to the cause. Could have left, could have went and turned professional somewhere else, but she wanted to stay with Sunderland and, and did that and it ended up going part-time. In that 2018 season, Kira was actually made captain. She scored a staggering 25 goals in 26 games. 
and then the, the following season, eight goals in 12 games in the 2019-2020 season. So two wonderful seasons there. In 2021, the Lasses made a successful application to be re-elected back to the WSL, with Kira scoring against Crystal Palace in the second game. You know, this heat map on the screen there shows the ground she covered. And then during that 2021-2022 season, you know, absolutely unbelievable graphic to show how important she is to the team and how much ground she covers during the game. Now, in 2022 was when the injury happened. It was in a pre-season game that just suffered a major ankle sprain that also incorporated a fracture, which does sound really, really painful. She did return to play three months later, but unfortunately suffered a second injury to the lateral ligaments, which did require surgery. But due to the complex nature of that injury and the treatment that it would require, it has sadly meant that she's had to retire at you know such a really, really young age and a devastating blow to her and the club. She obviously had you know, a really good years ahead of her. Uh, it's an absolutely massive, massive injury and a massive blow, like I've said, to the club and to her. But the good news is that she is staying at the club in, in some form. Um, some kind of training that the club have said they're going to support her in everything what she needs. She's going to pass on her knowledge to the existing players. The club are, in fact, giving her a testimonial game next summer, which is an amazing gesture and fully deserved to a player who has spent her entire career at the club. And there was only one or two players to, to play over 200 games for us as well, the other being um, a lady called Stephanie Bannon. So Kira finishes with a record of 244 games and 67 goals in a career, like I said, that lasted 14 years. So I'm sure you know, you'll join me in, in thanking Kira for everything which has done for Sunday women and the women's game in general. So Kira, enjoy your retirement. Miss Sunderland, that's what you are. Uh, and long may it continue that you, you have some some sort of input in the club in a coaching capacity. And maybe who knows someday managing the club when Mel Rea decides to uh, to, to leave or, or move on to pastures new. So all the best for the future. Now I did see at the start of the video I had some updates um around the men's team. So apparently Real Madrid sent scouts to watch Jovi Bellingham play for the under 19s during the, the week as the 18 year old continues to impress it seems massive clubs are starting to take notice. You know, all we can hope is that we can command a massive fee if he does keep on proving it's, it's natural, you know, big teams are going to be sniffing around him. Real Madrid, where his brother uh, Jude is, of course, you know, if they have come calling, then, well, you know, fantastic, fantastic. Let's just see how that one pans out. Some also good news regarding injuries. Dennis Serkin, Adji Alicia and Elijah Meander are all back in training, which is a massive, massive boost ahead of us returning to action against Stoke at the weekend. So, that's all from me. You know, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and watch this next video from me. And after that, this one for a YouTube recommendation. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Stay safe. And we'll speak soon. Ta-ra.